ladies, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing this eyeshadow tutorial for you guys using the brand new Be Bella Cosmetics Dreaming and Color Palette. So when you guys open up this palette, oh my God. <laughs> Look at all these colors. I, when I got this in the mail, um, I do get PR by Be Bella Cosmetics, so thank you so much, ladies. Um, when I saw the purple and pinks in this palette, I was like, I have to play with them. I know I always do purple and pinks on my channel. I just can't help it. I really can't help it. It's like the first colors that I have to have to dig in. I try my best to really get this video out for you guys before um, the launch. So hopefully you guys like it and maybe you will find the decision if you need it in your life or if you don't after watching the tutorial today. So I really don't wanna give you my thoughts yet until the end of the video. So you have to wait until the end. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for you guys and showing you guys step by step on how I created this eyeshadow look. First, before we do get started, let's go ahead and do some swatches and um, I'll tell you guys how much the palette costs and all that good stuff. So I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we have the palette. This is the front and it's called Dreaming in Color. Um, by B Bella Cosmetics. It will run for $14.99. And then once you do open up the palette, you get 15 eyeshadows and they are brand new. So basically it's like you're paying a dollar for each eyeshadow, which I think it's not a bad price point. $14.99 is really, really great. Um, the only thing that I would say about the palette is that the names are really hard to read. Um, so I'm gonna try my best and hopefully I don't butcher any of these. <laughs> the first shade I'm gonna go ahead and swatch is called White-ish. And then the next shade that we have is called um, Lemon, I believe. It's a really nice, pr pretty bright yellow. Um, next we have Teal. After Teal, we have Indigo. And then we have Poppy. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> and then the only shimmer shadow, which is called Starlight. So pretty. And then we have Midnight. Next we have Deep Orange. Next we have Fuchsia. And I feel like I need to go in twice for the swatch, but I really don't care about the swatch as long as they perform really well on the eye. Garnet, hopefully I'm saying that right. And then we have Rouge and Magenta. And then we have black, which has a little bit of glitter in it. It's so pretty. Next, we have a black cherry. My favorite, it's dark purple. And then the last shade is called violet. And those are pretty much it, you guys. All of the 15 um, shades swatched. And let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. Going into my Morphe M433, the first eyeshadow that I'm going to pick up is called Black Cherry. And we're gonna place this right in the crease. And I was actually really impressed on how pigmented it was um, when I did apply it directly to my eyelids. Um, so let's definitely see how this will blend out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to smoke out the outer corner and then take it all the way towards the inner corner. We're gonna be doing kind of like a halo eye. Um, and then with whatever you have left on the brush, just start to buff it out towards the outer corner to make it um, elongated or extend it more towards the outer eye. And you wanna continue doing this on the other eye as well and blend um, as much as you can. Um, but I am loving this pigmented shadow, like wow. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into a small Morphe um, detailed brush. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to darken up the inner corner. I love the size of this brush because it's like the perfect size for the inner corner. And then I'll just go back to my Morphe M433 and just apply some more um, of that black cherry eyeshadow. And then above that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color Rouge and I'm gonna start to just blend out the edges. Um, at this point, I do go back and forth into um, Black Cherry and Rouge and just blend until I am completely satisfied with the outcome. During this time, you just really wanna just take your time and perfect it. Um, and it's okay if you do go into a little bit of the Black Cherry. Um, it's actually better because then you get to blend both of them in really well. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Fuchsia and I'm gonna go above Rouge and then start to blend those two together. And the exact same thing, you guys, I just keep going back and forth into those three eyeshadows until I am satisfied 
with how it's turning out. You can definitely take it up all the way towards the brow bone if you want. You can get as crazy as you like when it comes to these fun, colorful eyeshadow looks. Um, of course, if you want it to be more less harsh, then I would definitely say not to go up that high. Okay guys, so I want to come on here really quick, um, away from the voiceover, and let me tell you, these eyeshadows are blending out better than I expected. I am blown away. So blown away with these colors. I was a little iffy, not going to lie, with the shade called um, Black Cherry, which is a dark purple that we just applied, um, well, that's all over the crease, the shade right here. I was like, oh my gosh, like, si me sale patchy or... You know, it doesn't come out the way that I want it to come out. Joke's on me, sis. Joke. So pretty much I'm doing the exact same thing, you guys. It's just perfecting the look and going back and forth through all of those eyeshadows that we just used. I know that it can get kind of annoying, but it is what I do. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Eden Primer and start to cut my crease, except we're going to do it differently. We're only going to focus the concealer in the center of the eye. Um, because we're not doing a half cut crease or a cut crease, we're doing more of a halo look. So our main focus is only to apply the concealer in the center. I am using my Sigma F75 and you want to just take your time um, when it comes to doing looks like this. I am going to go into my Morphe brush to blend out the edges so that way once we go in with the other eyeshadows again to cover up that harsh line, um, it looks seamless and we don't see anything underneath. And I'll go ahead and do the other eye and do the exact same thing. And it's okay if they look like sisters and if they don't look like twins, it's totally okay. I can never get them to look identical. <laughs> still working on that. I've been doing makeup for 10 years. I still can't get it right <laughs> on myself though. Now I'm going to go into white-ish. Um, and I'm using my MAC 239S. And I'm going to apply this only focusing the shade really close to the crease of the cut crease because I want that to look more white which will make the eye look more circle circular if that makes sense um, and we're just going to use padding motions and then going back to that morphe detail brush and my morphe m433 to blend out the edges um, I do go back again into white-ish with the same MAC 239 to build up the intensity I was a little disappointed with the white shade I thought it was going to be more intense um, but that's okay. Now I'm going to go into the shade called Fuchsia again. And I'm going to be placing this um, all over my lid, actually. I'm going into my Morphe M167 brush. And just very lightly, I'm applying this um, close to the white-ish eyeshadow that we placed. But mainly keeping it very soft. I'm not going to pack it on. Um, but if you want more intensity, you definitely can. And then just going back to my Morphe M433 and just touch up anything that we need to touch up again after applying these shades. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm going to go into my Too Faced highlighter in the shade Canary Diamond. I felt like it was the perfect color for the inner corner and for the color scheme that I have on my eye. In the palette, there's no other shimmery eyeshadow besides Starlight and I kind of wasn't digging that for the inner corner. To apply it, I'm going into my small firm eyeshadow ES4 from Profusion Cosmetics. Now it's time to curl your lashes and I'm going to go ahead and apply some um, mascara. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash and it's my first time using this mascara and honestly I am not too mad at it. I actually really liked it. I am scared though of smaller wands like this but I wanted to try this mascara anyways um, but I survived. Okay. <laughs> Normally with these type of wands I like to apply it mostly towards the bottom of my lashes. Now for lashes today, I'm going to go into these ones from Blanca Flor Mi Lashes and the style Baby Doll. Um, but we're going to let those, um, I applied some glue but I'm letting them dry for a few seconds before I apply them. Um, I'm going to go into my EB21 from Sedona Lace and I'm going to start to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, <laughs> now it's time to apply the lashes. They are ready. Um, so pause on the lower lash line. We're going to go ahead and put these bad boys on. I feel like they were perfect for today's look because it's not too overpowering and I feel like it's really wispy and I can still see my eyeshadow peeking through the lashes. Now to continue with the lower lash line, I'm just applying black on cherry and then I'm going to go back into that brush from Profusion. 
the small firm eyeshadow that we use to apply the inner corner highlight and I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it out with rouge and a little bit of magenta and then just going back and forth until I am happy with the outcome for my waterline I'm gonna go into the mr. right eye pencil by the bomb cosmetics and it's just a purple um, eyeliner and apply it into the waterline next for my lower lashes I'm gonna go back into the roller lash by benefit and coat my bottom lashes and that's pretty much it you guys for today's eyeshadow tutorial using the new Be Bella Cosmetics Dreaming and Color Palette. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. If you love purple, please leave a little purple heart in the comments to let me know. And let me go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so you made it towards the end of the video, you guys. And now it's time to give you my final thoughts on the Dreaming and Color Palette by Be Bella Cosmetics. I mean, what is there to say? I... I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I really love the way that these eyeshadows worked, how they blended together. I didn't experiment any patchiness, any separation, any lifting, nothing like that. I feel like they did such a beautiful job. I honestly, you guys, was really skeptical from the darker shades. Obviously, I haven't played with the blues and the yellow and the other um, blue color here um, or the black. These five shades that I used today definitely blew my mind. I literally was not expecting this. Um, and honestly, joke's on me because... <laughs> I honestly am really blown away by the quality of this palette. The only thing that I would say is that with the white, which is called white-ish, this shade right here, I will definitely say that it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Um, but then again, I only used it for the um, top of the cut crease. So I definitely still have to wait and play with it and maybe apply it on, on half of the eye and do another cut crease or a half cut crease and see how the white does play. But I mean, again, you can always use a white white base um, and then apply that on top to set it. Palette really exceeded my expectations and I am in love. I definitely recommend this palette. Check it out you guys. It is available today, February 20th at 12 p.m. and the links are down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this palette. If you guys liked today's video, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this eyeshadow. Are you going to buy the palette? Let me know. And of course, if you are inspired by this tutorial, please tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your recreations and post you on my IG stories. I love you all very, very much. Thank you for the love and the support. Besitos, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!